boot camp probably didn't last over two weeks. Really? So then they, they shipped you right away right for away your, uh, see, uh, your advanced training? At the, time, at the time that we went in there, they were looking for people. See, that mm -hmm. they was hit. We were hit hard. And they was looking for people, bodies of what they were looking for. I mean, <laughs> let's face it. And uh, they, they were smart. The federal government was smart. You can't, you, you, a lot of people say they're dumbass, but they're not. See, they, they, picked, they picked the people from the smaller towns, and they knew that them people living in them smaller towns hunted, went hunting, and, and fishing and hunting, and they knew they, they fired a weapon. And all they had to do was to learn them to fire the weapon they give them. And he did that aboard ship. I uh, I started out with a with an O3, the, the Springfield 1903. Yeah, nine, yeah, but, that, yeah that, that was quite a that's quite a rifle. I actually one. shot one of those. So. And sucker, you could hit something 500 yards away with them babies. Yes, they're very and then, extremely. Uh, accurate. They got rid of that. They gave it, and we got the M1s. And uh, we we had trouble. We had trouble with the M1s for a while. The uh, spring got weak. Mm -hmm. And it was subjective. It wasn't checked yet. Nothing now. So you had to get a new rifle. Well, when, hell, I had, on Iwo Jima, I had three different rifles. I just picked up a rifle that a, that a Marine uh, got hit and dropped it. And, and they picked it up and used that. And that's where you, you kept going. Okay, now, um, you said that uh, you, you enlisted in, in, in late uh, 42. So now what... what I'm going, to, I'm going to lead into is, um, it, you know, any other stations that, that you were at prior to going into battle? I mean, did you go to no, Hawaii? No, uh, no, I went to a uh, board ship. I was, uh, yeah, we, we was a board ship probably uh, three months, maybe a little better than that. Mm -hmm. Just like you was going into an island, see, when, uh, you know, they take you, when they're getting ready to hit for an island, they take you out in the boat and they keep you out there for a while and then all at once uh, you're in. See, they don't let the Japanese know where we was doing. Because uh, you've done a lot of, you've done a lot of uh, going on boats, boy. You've done, that, that takes a, uh, and I got, I was one of them guys that got sick every time on a board ship. <laughs> Join the club. Oh, I did. Oh. Boy, I got sick. But the minute I hit shore, I was all right. You just, said, you just have to hit shore. I get my foot on the ground. That's what I was after. Now, you, now I know you're a Neo Jima veteran. Was, was that your first action? Yeah. First that action? My first action was Guam. Oh, was Guam? My first action was on Guam. Okay. Uh, what, what year? Now, just... So everybody knows what year what year uh, the invasion of Guam was. I, don't I believe that was forty three, if I'm not mistaken. 40, that was probably the late 43, 44. Mm -hmm. 44. Now, what, when when you when you invaded Guam, was there there a lot of fighting? Oh yeah, oh yeah. They uh, of course the Navy went in and they blew up again. Yeah, they blew the town up. They they, they didn't mess with it. They just tore it up. And then we went in, and that's where we landed. It was around that town, and went on in. And the minute we, the minute we got into in uh, off the shore, we we it was just more or less man for man. And uh, you had trees. Uh, a, Guam was a beautiful, a, at one time a beautiful uh, island, beautiful island. There wasn't a bit of birds, no no mosquitoes, nothing on that ground. That was a beautiful place, and some sucker from Japan brought some snakes over there, <laughs> and they they practically took over the town because he wasn't even a bird to kill them. And uh, the navy had a heck of a time cleaning them up. But it's it's still a, a big naval base now. Guam now, was. now the Battle of Guam, how long did that last? That didn't last. Uh, oh, I'd say uh, three weeks. Three weeks, and that was, like That's I said, it. that was your first. That was your first combat experience. Now, uh, see, now when I say three weeks, you, when they put you aboard, uh, aboard shore, when you get on that beach, 
you go, and you go as hard as you can to the end of that island. And that's what's called securing the island when you run in there. But then you come back, uh, you come back, and every day you go out and you uh, get the stragglers. I mean, there's a lot of people you missed when mm -hmm. you when you push through, and uh, then you go back and get and get uh, stragglers. Every day they sent they sent people out to find the stragglers, and we did. And uh, that that's that's what what see we was they was planning to do the same thing to Iwo Jima. But they and they got a, they got an awful surprise. Mm -hmm. They didn't know, or at least they didn't tell us, what was on that island. And that was in the Imperial Marines. It was the whole Imperial Marines was on that island, and they was put there, and they said, "You hold it or die," because see the uh, Iwo Jima the, there was no. Nothing there, no water, no food, no nothing. All you had was warm sand. You could put your hand down on the, on the sand and it'd be warm. It was that hot yet. But uh, see, uh, the Navy surrounded that island and they couldn't get no food or no water into them, see? And then, then it's just uh, man for man. That's what you was doing. Now, now with, your first, with your first combat experience at Guam, what were your thoughts as you were as you were rolling up in the shore before you made your initial landing, well, you you were you was a little scared because you didn't know what's going on. So you just didn't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, after you got there and after you got in land and start to do, then you took it from the older people. You could see what they were doing and you did it. See, you uh, you take the old Marines was in there. They uh, they the Third Marine Division was an old division and. Uh, some of them guys, they were, they were in there a long time. They knew what they was doing, see, and you followed, you followed the course. You just, you just watch and look, and, and they tell you, too. They tell you. you know, they, they, uh, we were their buddies, but we, they were our buddies. I mean, you couldn't survive without each other. You just couldn't survive. Uh, but you got a little scared. When you first went in there, you, uh, you wonder what's, uh, what it's all about. But you found out real quick. Okay. You had to learn real quick. Yeah. Now, after Guam, after you secured the island of Guam, I'm sure that they probably loaded you on ships again. Did you? Did did they? You know, we trained on Guam for quite a while. You, you, you actually stayed on Guam and trained on Guam. Yeah. We trained. We trained. We brought in new. They brought in new, uh, new Marines to replace the ones that got killed or wounded. Mm -hmm. They they brought in they brought in new uh, recruits. And we took them in and we trained them. And we, uh, we, uh, we, we trained them for quite a while. And then uh, we, we were in force when we went to Iwo Jim, we didn't know where it was going. The fact is, we wasn't supposed to go to Iwo. We were supposed to stand by in Iwo. And uh, when, they, when, they got, when they got the uh, shores uh, secured, and we were supposed to go on to Okinawa, the 3rd Marine Division, division was. But the 4th Division got hung up. They, got, they couldn't move. And the third day they committed us. Now, we, didn't, we didn't hit the, the Iwo Jima right off the go. We was there for three days before we went in. So you were, you were a D plus three before you finally, yeah. finally went in the shore. What were the, what were the conditions like? On you while you know you were D plus three, uh, and, and from what I've read in the history books, they didn't move very much in no, those three days. No, they were pretty no, much pinned down in the no, sand. No. So um, see, they had no cover, and that, mm -hmm. and then people had all kinds of shells around. They 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 had a stock. They they, they were them Marines had Imperial Marines had a stock, and uh, they were there was no movement. They figured that we was going to take that island in three days. It took 29 days to secure that island, and then it wasn't secured. We secured it, and then they had to go back and take up the, bring up the, pick up the stragglers. See, so it's uh, it was a, it was a drag out there. But just like you say, you uh, you put your hand down there, and it was the, the, the sand was too hot. That's why no trees grow. That's why no no vegetation grows. I got a bottle of at home. 
who bought a about that big. I should have brought, well, I didn't know who was going to do this there. I brought it over, see. But, uh, yeah, I got I got a little of that. I put a, brought some back. But they, uh, they took us back, and, uh, well, when, uh, when I left there, they, they pulled us back, and the, the new batch of Marines come in and took over. There was only seven of us out of the, of the original company. Of the and how many? How many? Just so everybody knows, how many? How many are in a co uh, marine 40 company? Two hundred forty forty people in the company. We and that was under strength, but that's what we had. And uh, there was only seven. Of them. They didn't all die. Now they got wounded, wounded, and, and, and died and wounded. And uh, they uh, they they were pretty smart. Them Japanese are pretty smart. They uh, they start shooting you. And they'd shoot you at first, they shoot you to kill you. But then they got the idea to wound you, then then your buddy would stop and pick you up and take care of you, and that'd take two men out of action. See, that's what they, they, they tried that, but it 